Hello everyone, my name is JRBR and welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. I am super excited for this game. I've tried to stay mostly blind to any releases or anything, so I'm not spoiled. So I'm just going to pick English and hopefully we can get right into this game. I'm excited. I'm. It's nice to see changes and imp Hopefully this is an improvement to Pokemon games. Like, I don't know if this is going to be, if this can be the new normal. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Oh, I, well, I forgot Arceus already. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Whoa, Arceus. We just met. Uh, yep, this is me. What is thy name? Oh, I... Because <sighs> I really wanted the character that looks like Dawn, but I guess in this frame she doesn't. So... I like Dawn. Yeah, so I don't know if this can be a new normal for Pokemon games. That's me. Or if it's just like a one-off. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. There you go, bro. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Okay, Arceus. Yeah, and I'm... Because this can be a series where they keep doing this with different legendaries. And I'm assuming it all depends on how well this game performs, if that's something they do or not. Ooh, nice phone. Is that an iPhone? Thanks, Arceus. I, I guess I don't need a phone in the Pokemon world. Alright. So I had a cell phone. So I'm traveling back in time? That can be my only guess. Even that loading logo is cool. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh my god. Are you alive, my boy? Wait. Okay, I was really concerned, excited that po the Pokemon might be talking to me. This is incredible. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Okay, you guys can't see this, but, um, what is that? That should not be in the sky above a volcano. That's not right. Who are you? Yeah. I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Come now, who in the world does that? I mean, I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't have to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. Yeah. If I fell off a Pokemon, you know. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? You have somewhere around here you could stay? No. Nowhere. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know how to s where to spend the night. This is a proper pickle indeed. Quite sure you'll be able to survive. I, uh, somehow, I guess. Can I have one of these thingies? 
I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Plish plash. Oh my god. Oh my. I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? I'd say of course, but I want to hear his explanation. I'm assuming it's, you know, the same. You, you don't? You truly have traveled a long way, haven't you? Well, these three here are what we call Pokemon. Very mysterious creatures, you see. Marvelous, really. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? Ho oh, ho, so you're called Jagerbra. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Uh, Hunter. Uh, oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Levanton. Leventon? I think it's Leventon. Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here with. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? Cherry, sorry. But do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Oh, it'd be really cool if I could have all three. But. Okay, I can't forage flowers yet. I'm thinking... So I had spent some time thinking today what Pokemon I'm going to pick. Oh, fancy. It's a glowing, beeping object over here. Yeah, I'll take you. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it change shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm I don't know if it's I don't think it's going to be possible to do like a Nuzlocke of this. I'm not sure how this game's going to work. Sigh. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. So cute. I love him. Ah, Oshawott. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and can battle using the shell like object on its belly. Plush, plush. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50! Shit. That, um, what? A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ha, huh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. Okay, this is greatly changing Pokemon lore. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and, why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. With that, you've caught a Pokemon. Can they grow in size? I know we just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awful grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim, then let the ball fly. Quite simple. Though far be it for me to say so, I suppose. 
given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Alright, throwing balls. Hold down ZR to ready a Pokeball and take aim. And keep moving around as you do, so use the right stick to adjust the angle and carefully aim it at your Pokemon. Release it to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B to cancel. Alright, so... I don't know if I get any kind of choice here. Alright. I'll peg you. Okay. Oh, wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. Seems you're quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. Here, Jolly useful skill to have there. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, it's most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Can I get... Oh, I can ride in the water. Whoosh. Oh, no. Don't... Wa oh, wait. You're running towards me. Right in the face. Nice. Can hardly believe it, Yerber. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpest, shall we? Uh, did I catch him? Oh, I, okay. I was worried I might have broke the game. Which, you know, I... Oh, uh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. God, I don't. It's something. Ab something about throwing Pokeballs like this at Pokemon is super satisfying. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. See, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. I must say, Erebra, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Like my phone. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there is something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, the proper Pokedex is a wondrous work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. You enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. Situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced me. I would have done it without any of your help. And whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First thing first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Okay. Yeah, so that makes sense. Because we're an old-timey Sinnoh. I guess. I wonder how long it takes to beat this game. It's so... It's so weird to see. This setting... This time setting in Pokemon. Thank you for all your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Yeah. Oh, it's... It's the Weezings. The, from Galar. Galar.
this way if you please. Jubilee Village, it's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. This road we're on now is known at locals as Canala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, and something else. Since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Now that impressive building up ahead to us is Galaxy Hall. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Why don't I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Your arc phone's beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh, wait. Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. Consult the map for guidance. Uh, you also see guidance markers when you're out exploring. Not sure where to go. Stop and look in all directions and try to spot a marker. Oh my god. How is this a Pokemon game? Um, Alright, I can't access any... I have free gifts to receive from... I don't know. From pre-ordering the game. I don't know how to get them. Do you have a green mustache? Or now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Yeah. That's fine. Who are you? never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced me in these flimsy clothes. If the guard lets you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor L Leventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder Shock not long ago and had to take to my bed. The professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Was the professor old? Fortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh, wait. There he is. But everything will be quite alright now. Airbrow here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Oh, she is not happy. Excuse me, do you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Stillian's permission. I'll allow it. Is that, oh. Captain Stillian? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Selene. I think that's that. I think that's what that name is. Professor Lavanton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Yes, 15. Quite old enough to work for your keep, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, oh, the most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Oh, but you're still coming in and eating here. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversations then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Okay, cool. We do get to go in. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fail to please. Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? On the beach. 
Oh, well, you know the, that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Haisu region. That there are, in the grass, the f in forest, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as a survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. But we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Jagerbro will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. Seems we can finally be in our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard time enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, it'd be perfectly fair the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. Seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Yabra. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides all for all its members' needs. Even if said members fell out of the sky. I think Professor Leventon has fallen out of the sky. He's definitely hit his head. He's probably fallen out of the sky. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Yagerbra has a trial to pass to join the survey corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Yagerbra's skill. It's Let's hope it is not misplaced. Yagerbra, yeah, wasn't it? Hmm. For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Why is the lights on? How are the lights on? Oh wait, candle lights. If you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate. And perhaps your death in the wilds. Jesus. Captain Selene's somewhat like Haisu, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help us keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. But with that, I bid you both a good night. God, I just want to go out and catch Pokemon. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Yeah, I should be dead. But well, I guess, <laughs> I guess kids are tougher apparently. You got tougher falling back in time and space. Oh, this is quaint. Trash looks like you could store lots and lots of items. Interesting. Okay, I still can't access anything. This jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Ah, oh, that's... Nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. It's a dresser of very solid construction. Where extra sets of clothes can be kept. So let's see. Okay. Flat ceiling. This is important. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information. Read them at any time. Simply press the up button on the menu. Okay. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I, I understand saving video games. Some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. 
Nothing is just plain old stones. Yeah, let's rest. I am ready for my trials because I want to actually play the game. Ooh, controller's vibrating. Badoof and ba barrel. That looks problematic. Alright. Help. The next day. How fun's my volume? Okay, it is all the way up. Good morning, Abra. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so let's give it our all. Now. Five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afford. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. Words to live by. Yeah, do you guys have clothes for me? What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Silene? Celine. I've already forgot what I said. I can't figure out if those shoes... I know my shoes would not be good for this, but I can't figure out if Akari's would be or not. Alright. Survey Corp's offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corpse will put you to rights. That man's with the security corpse, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Celine, Aerobur is here. You may enter. Nice Abra. Let's just get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different Pokemon. Oh, species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. The professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Uh, it's a it's a fanny pack that actually goes on my fanny. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. All right, we got. It. Oh wait, no. Press the Y button on your map. While consulting the map on your art phone, you can check the task. Okay. There are two types missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in the adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Bird Terrier, come with me for a moment. Can I have a Pokemon? I guess you can't give me a Pokemon. Now then, jolly good morning to everyone. Something the matter, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex, and well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Erebor absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Yes! Go on here, Erebor. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Alright, so I've spent... 
I was originally going to let it be random, like, based on... Okay, I apparently don't have a trainer's number. I was originally going to let it be random, and then I thought... Cyndaquil, I've used many times. When I played Sun and Moon, I picked Rowlet for... Oh yeah, for random reasons. But I've never used Oshawott. So, and Oshawott is adorable. You want Oshawott as your first partner? Yeah, I'll take any, honestly, but... Cyndaquil, I think Fire is always a good one to start with, but... It's nice to have a good water. With that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Oshawott back inside his Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. I love... I think that it looks like a wooden Pokeball on the bottom. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Girl, girl. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Oshawott. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. They can all come. That could well be. But they did go dashing from the village when Yagura fell in the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the way, what species has kept in Silent Charge? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during the trial, then. How many Pokeballs do I need? So I'm like at 65. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters and then head to the gate. Aren't you supposed to, like, help me? She's supposed to be ready to step in if I need assistance. But... Oh, he took my 50 back. All right. Oh wait, you're here. Who's that? Oh, what a curious get up you have there. Now I tell you, you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your merchant town needs here in Haisu. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've got a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success, what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Uh, only because I want to annihilate you. <laughs> I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Now I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Oh no. Okay, I thought they were going to turn their hat around backwards. So is this just... Is this a traditional, like, turn-by-turn -turn battle? Okay. Tackle it! I, it might be doing something. I will... No! Ow! <laughs> Tackle him! Here, Oshawott, I'll protect you! Ah! I hope this is helping. I'll look stupid if it's not. Yeah, you did it! Ha! Battle decided. Did I help? Moves, items, use them well and the world will open up to you. Yes, level up. New move! Oshawott's gonna be fantastic. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, Open your satchel and choose the Pokemon you want, and select the Change Moves option. But so few people here have their own Pokemon, only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help 
our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Can I have your Pokemon? And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Alright, oh, 60 HP. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out for battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Field Lands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rest the Guardsman where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Psh, your child begins just a short way past that front gate. Hey, hey, bro. Correct. I was informed you'd be passing through. The trial would take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. You wish to go to the field? Yeah. Okay, so... It's like a fast travel to each... Not region, but each... Like, area. Oh, do you guys have, like, way stations set up? This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For trial, you must catch a Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, something wrong? Oh, well, you see, Captain Celine got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain, but what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Erebus talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Uh, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Yairo will do you fine. Let's begin the trial. Yes, let's finally begin. Uh, can I use my mystery gift yet? Not under seven, right? Correct. Oh my god. It's so Legend of Zelda y. I guess only Breath of the Wild, but. This is Aspiration Hill. Species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Can I catch. Oh, I probably shouldn't catch others. Oh. Hey, it's a Bidoof. And along comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready to catch. I think it's funny that I just finished. Well, the key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Hold down Z out of focus, keeping your sights as long as it's nearby. Sandy so comes to very useful while aiming at a target when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Badoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run for people, so this will be easy. Yeah, so after just finishing Shiny Pearl, I, I did have a Bidoof, a Starly, and a Shinx on my team. Oh. Well, if I can lock on, what's even the challenge? Nice. You got a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess if you don't Spoiled apricorn. Did I take that from the booth? I assume it's just going to fly out somewhere. That's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Alright, press B to crouch. Makes it harder for Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. Creep into the tall grass while crouch low. It'll be even harder. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Wait, where is Starly? Oh, wait. Nice. 
10 out of 10 game of the year. That's Starly caught as well. Only one more to go. Is this one going to be like just super fast going wild? I want. I forgot there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Selene tells us, have an item at your ready, but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. If you've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. berries. Thank you, Oshawott. Oh wait, she's gonna talk to me more. There, that's Shinx. God, it's, that's psycho eyes. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Couldn't you already tell that? Uh, mm, I wouldn't call it aggressive, but not to worry. These things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. UCL, you can see how easy it may be to catch. More arrows, the easier it will be to catch. Okay. An X will appear above Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage in a battle. Okay. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the tricks to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed, with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. It's easy to start a po battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you can see that, the, that you currently have an item ready, press X. Oh, he's, he's coming right at me. I just need to check. Um, yeah, check summary. You have like two attacks, right? Check moves. All right. Interesting. Interesting. I was hoping to get bonus damage for like hitting them in the face. Aqua Jet for the stab bonus. Wait, should I be throwing a Pokeball? Wait, what? Yes, I want to throw a Pokeball. Unless I can catch knocked out Pokemon. Huh. No, don't run away. I'm going to fight him just out of curiosity. Oh, no, no, no. Don't knock the Shinx out. Catch it. Even Bao, you can throw an empty Pokeball at it. Like, To be fair... To be fair, you did not explain that. It, I, I should have known. Oh, but this one's level 4. Oh, shoot. A critical. Oshawott. Uh, level 7 is not bad, though. Just saying. Um, fight. Uh, tackle. How is that less than 50% damage? Wait, what? It's my turn. Um, yeah, Pokemon. Oh yeah, I've, I forgot I can move around. I don't know if there's any benefit to that. You 
approached this Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. They were like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful! I'm still curious at why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Ho oh, ho, I said you'd pass the trial of flying colors. Seems like you went and just did just that. Congratulations. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Did you close your eyes for your picture? With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Celine. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? I don't know who was saying that, but... Alright, do I get to keep these Pokemon? I don't intend to use them. If I can have six Pokemon, I'd like them to not be these three starter ones. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Selene awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Selene will be very pleased. Alright, we shall give Selene all our Pokemon. Well, not no, not, not all. That's too many. Three of our Pokemon, maybe. Unless we get to keep them. Which, yeah, so f love, alright, so I think they've all been gaining experience as I've progressed, so that's good to know. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations, you've passed your trial, you can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. You received a uniform and a pair of sandals. Get changed in your room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Can I talk to your Abra? Can I go? Oh, this is Professor Layton's room. Or not Layton, that's not him. Alright, so where would my Oshawott hang out? Oh, yeah, probably in there. Alright, well, I'm going to be ending this episode here. I don't want to go outside because we're still early enough that cutscenes can start out of anywhere. So, I'm enjoying this game. I'm excited to keep going. And I'm going to record another episode right after this so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy this as well as always i will see you in the next episode bye, -bye.